What do you know? The time has finally come. World of Warcraft has managed to relaunch itself back into its original state. Now, it was something that I had played 15 years ago when the game first came out. And I remember that fondly. The first time I logged in, I created my character. I launched myself into the world. And forever, my perspective of online games had changed. World of Warcraft was a very different game than the MMOs I had played previously. I had good? played EverQuest. I had played Final Fantasy XI. I had played a couple of other smaller ones, which names I have forgotten. But World of Warcraft was different. World of Warcraft took out a lot of the complexities of the games of old. As complex and as complicated and as difficult as Classic WoW was, keep in mind that it was renowned for its day of being a simplification of the kind of gameplay and all that that earlier games in the genre had provided. So all of a sudden, this game comes out, simplifies it enough to appeal to the masses, and the masses did come. I had no intention of playing this game for a long period of time when I first picked it up. I certainly was a fan of Warcraft prior to World of Warcraft, but I certainly didn't expect out of this game what I eventually got. It wasn't simply an MMO that had a Warcraft coat of paint slapped over it. Victory for it was Sylvanas. very different, in fact. It feels like it was actually made to be Warcraft, and it was. The people who created it were probably the original creators of the series. They gave it the attention, they gave it the love and care that it needed, and they gave it the appropriate setting. All of these cities and towns that we are seeing in the game are in fact the ones that were in the previous games. It was full of these small details, little things that fans of the series were going to look at, they were going to notice, and they were going to recognize. But the game itself, that was probably the most important part. Because as popular as the Warcraft series may have been prior to the release of World of Warcraft, it was World of Warcraft that had actually far than the game's Wow, this is really dragging out. Of course, all of the old games were so different than what we're used to it now. And even though World of Warcraft is a kind of simplistic MMO, game up before, there's some, in a way, a lot of simpler, more casual, friendly, talking to Casual, friendly, and incarnations with ever since. Oh, I'm out of mana. Fantastic. <laughs> Stab it! It used to be a lot slower. Now, this is what we're looking at now. I'm trying to complete this one quest where I find the Putrid Claw. The Putrid Claw is a drop off of these zombies here. What was it called? A uh, rotting. Rotting dead. A scourge zombie that's just stumbling around. There's no quest indicator on the mini map. There's no indicator on the tooltip. There's nothing here. You just have to know what you're after. And killing these things, even if in, say, Battle for Ash, you're to try and kill a level appropriate enemy, like I'm level 6, this thing is level 6. I could pretty much run up there. Oh shit. I could pretty much run up there and just beat the shit out of them. Most enemies, unless they were elite, were really awful for shit. These things, see, you're only really an attack. And I'm out of mana. So I get a stab. Probably get a profession. Profesh not mining, though. You definitely, it was definitely a lot more difficult back then. Now the density, you'd have to say the density of enemies in the newer zones is pretty high. 
like imagine trying to run through Saramar uh, with this classic way of how difficult the enemies range. are. It would be impossible. Pull your damn hair out, you get killed all the damn time. Right here we are. I guess the enemy density is low enough that it's not really an issue as long as you're not rushing around like a lunatic. But it does kind of make travel difficult. Once I complete this quest and I return to Brill, I'm going to, well, technically I'm in Brill now, but once I gotta go back, I'm gonna have to run through a bunch of respawning enemies and it's gonna be a nightmare. Enemies take off on the kill. You burn through your mana or stamina or whatever you have to be using. I am covered with shit armor. Look at that. Common. Trash, trash, common, trash, common, common. That's all I got. That is all I got. Some of these things were quest rewards. Others were things that just dropped off of random enemies. I am wearing garbage. Unlike in modern WoW where even a, even a casual player is going to be wearing at least uncommon while leveling. And it's gonna hit rares or epics. Speak kneeling quickly. War. Rares or epics. When uh, hit the hit max level. Max level, I feel, is going to take a long time. Now, I was a very casual player back when WoW first launched. I got in, but I played it for a little while. I got up to probably around level 15, and then I stopped playing. And then I. Let my my account lapsed and I got back into it, got up to say level 22 or so. I was in and out and in and out and in and out a lot. As a result, it actually took me around three years. Perhaps four. In and out and in and out and in and out to reach the point where I hit level 60. Now of course, by this point, Wrath of the Lich King had launched. And... Well, when I got into it then, I got into it something pretty fierce, and I leveled from, I was around level 40 or so, up to level 80, and I started doing dungeons, and I started doing raids, then I fell off of the WoW bandwagon, played a little bit of Cataclysm, played Panda in its last couple of weeks before it ended, and then... Not until Legion came out that I was that I got back in the WoW hardcore again. Probably the most hardcore I'd ever played any MMO. Definitely the most hardcore I played any MMO was Legion. And yeah, Battle for Azeroth is alright, but it's not as good as Legion was. So of course, there was a subscriber drop off. People weren't going to stick around for that game when it wasn't scratching that itch, you know. Legion was just so well constructed, and I don't think Battle for Azeroth has that same good bones to it. It's got the core gameplay loop of World of Warcraft, and it's got the TLC when it comes to, like, world design and all that kind of stuff. But I don't feel like there's some cohesive story like there was in the Lich game, like there was in the Legion, which is guiding you forward. Plus, I think the environment is a little bit less interesting. Damn it. Had two feet and I couldn't get one of them. Oh wait, this thing doesn't have what I need. I like how they have quest indicators telling you like to go to this area, but once you actually get close to there, it disappears. So you gotta sort of find your way around. <sighs> See, this is the kids today don't know the struggles. Well, I guess they do now because they get to play the the old game. But I, I don't have a mount. I, I can't run through these things. In a regular game, you're not gonna have a mount. 
you do get to show her. You already have a high level character. Uh, see, that's male. It's fender jump. And I gotta run all the way back. The characters move at a decent jogging pace, but. It's still, uh. Still sluggish. <laughs> okay, let's. Let's, uh. What now? Quit screwing around. It's been a while since I've been to the the Undercity. Agamon Mills. I spent a lot of time there. I remember I spent like two hours in that area when I first played the game. Wow, this is really bringing back memories. I completely forgot about a lot of this shit. Trust no one. Okay, Undercity is this way. Up oh, there's a tower from the Zeppelin. I can go to Orgrimmar. Oh, I gotta go to Orgrimmar. Orgrimmar looks very different in the classic game than it did in After Cataclysm. They changed its layout a little bit. They changed the look of it. I mean, I'd say it definitely looks nicer now than it did back in OG Rat Wow, but just for the sake of just for the sake of nostalgia, I'm gonna have to go back there. Oh, it's the ruins of Lordaeron. The Undercities beneath it. Here is a embarrassing little bit of information. Oh, this entrance looks a little different. Was it like this uh, before BFA? An embarrassing little bit of information. I first stumbled across the ruins of Lauderon over in this direction, like around here somewhere. And I came up and I saw the walls and said, Ruins of Lauderon. I looked at that and said, you know, that's got to be a dungeon or a raid or something. I don't want none of that. So I didn't go there. And it wasn't until my account had lapsed and I got back into the game a few months later that I stumbled into Lauderon and realized it was the goddamn capital city of the undead. See, I didn't go and... Warcraft 3 gave no indication of that. And I didn't... I didn't... Um, go and read through the manual, so I didn't know that. <laughs> up, up, here's the old classic thing to do. I'm the king of Lauderon. Try not to stab me in the face with your sword. Anyway. Uh, there was the other way to get into the Undercity. But I was nowhere near there. Oh, can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Made it. Somebody else didn't. Look at that shit. Oh, uh, yeah. the abominations. Oh, is the, the bank teller there? I guess the bank teller's gonna be there, yeah. I have not visited the bank teller yet, so I got nothing here. Hello? Cooking supplies, I cooking God trainer. Me. I haven't Hello? done any of this shit yet. Watch over you. The voices seem a little different. Did they change those later on? The... Okay. Auction auction house is here. I'm pretty sure there wasn't an auction house at launch. But then again, this... This version of the game is based off of the... Drums of War patch, which was probably the last patch before... Before... Uh, Burning Crusade launched. So, you know. It's not a true launch experience. <laughs> you know, if you guys are level 60 elite, what the hell am I running around trying to save the world for? Why don't you do it? This is what made Sylvana such a difficult boss to kill. 
all these guys you had to get through. And while trying to do this, of course, you're going to get players swarming your raid. So you got to get through all of these. Six slot linen bag you're trying to sell. Trade chat. Love it. <laughs> and you get here. Are the, uh, the battleground people here? Yep. I, I'm hoping they don't have sunk, the old sunk. battleground For shit where you actually have to run through the portal. Oh shit! Don't waste From my time. I'm always on the winning side. Yeah, not really. Didn't I kill you in, uh... I killed you in Legion too, didn't I? Yeah, I killed you in Legion. We oh. aren't forsaken. Oh, we will slaughter anyone who stands in our way. It's the old Sylvanas model and the old Sylvanas voice. Okay, she's based off a night elf here because they didn't have a high elf um, character model at that point. You think they would have put some effort into a freaking faction leader or a racial leader like that, but they didn't. I mean, the model doesn't look terrible, but I remember not thinking that this was particularly appropriate for the character was. Especially since, in my mind, she still should have had, like, the Banshee appearance. She doesn't look much like her in character model in Frozen Throne, either. That was a Warcraft 3 expansion. It's not terrible overall, but definitely doesn't look like what she eventually did. Now, when, uh... BC launched, they changed her character model to that of a Blood Elf. Which, I don't think looked particularly appropriate either. Then they, then they did the what is it, in Wrath of the Lich King. They put more effort into it, because she was going to be appearing in dungeons and raids and all that shit. And I guess the team that made the game expanded. So they had more people to throw around at tasks like that. Hey. So they went and they recreated her character model, more or less with the design that that we all know of today. Oh, look at this old old uh, water animation here. I remember for the longest time thinking that this would damage me if I stepped in it. So, I didn't <laughs> put the took the um, bridges and shit. Now you can change the graphics settings. Let's just do that. That's a closer resemblance to what we know now, isn't it? Although I don't think it looks quite like that. This is a recreation of the character that I had originally played. Same name, same everything. Anyone have any odorant? Either wet dog, fresh garbage, or low tide would do. Low tide. Huh. Let's go back. I like how... Well, I mean, it, for some reason it recommends 7, even though my hardware is definitely good enough to go everything up to the max. But, like, 3. 3 is the... is what they recommend. <laughs> it's funny. All this stuff. Right now, gamma and put light. I'm running at a high enough resolution. I'm running at a 4K resolution, so I don't need to worry too much about anti aliasing. Isn't there an option? Uh, maybe there's not. But perhaps there's an option to. Enable or disable the high, the high detail, the high detail um, K 
character models. Okay, the only thing I'm turned up was the draw distance of detail. Oh, that's the other way out. That's the other way out. Now let's run over to the magic quarter. By I mean run literally. It's going to take me a second to get there because he's got to run there. <laughs> Did I level up and not pick up a magic spell? I'm not sure anymore. I'm not at a high enough level yet that I can access the talent tree. That's what's getting me here. Pretty sure the talent tree was accessible from the beginning. If you play the modern version. Of course, this isn't the modern version. I'm pretty sure I gotta be at either level 10 or 20 to get out of the talent tree. Oh my god, I have to breathe still. Ah. Trainers. Trainers. Where are you? There we are. I have Blood and thunder! Victory! Oh my god. Oh my god, I had to buy these things for the pets too? Oh, you got to be kidding me. This is going to be expensive as fuck. <laughs> Look at these. Some of these cost a gold 40 or gold 80. 220. Strength and honor. All right, life tap. That cost me almost all of my money. Shadow Bolt. I already have Shadow Bolt. Shadow Bolt rank 2? I got to purchase rank ups? Oh my god, how much silver. You guys suck. You should just cut me a deal, bro. Are the hard. I thought I was starting to save up some money. Nope. Nope. Wasn't saving up any money. Yes. I'm listening. Trainers. Trainers stopped being a thing, I think, with Pandaria. And... Oh, look, they they both occupied separate spaces on the spellbook. That's funny. How much, uh... Well, it costs more mana. Maybe that's why. Some... Crazy-ass players might... Some crazier players might try to... Go and have both on the hot bar. So then you can go and if you're running low on mana, you can still cast something. That's a level of play I'm not gonna approach. Man. Money was so much different. Random drops I get from enemies will give me fifty gold now. Of course this is still the beginning of the game, so all the shit I'm carrying is going to be crap. And all of my weapons, I'm a damned warlock. And I'm equipping weapons for its damage dealing ability. That is amazing to me. I haven't got all day. Eh, five armor, five armor. Same. Three armor. Oh, this junk. This. The DPS is a little bit higher. I just can't equip a staff Ask yet. No one. I'm gonna put it in the bank. Listening. Cause I'm gonna have to visit a damned. Uh, Goodbye. I'm gonna have to visit a damn weapons trainer to use that. Let's get out of here. I remember the situation being so bad when it came to saving money and all of that. That I was over in... I was in... The Hinterlands. Was it the Hinterlands? Yeah, it was probably... By the Hinterlands. And I'd leveled up. Now, in the Hinterlands, you don't have a mount yet. 
So you got to run everywhere. And I'm thinking about it, and I'm thinking, okay, I have to go back probably all the way to Undercity in order to train up whatever new spells or whatever that I have I have open to me. Weird that they never open the front door. So I gotta go all the way back to Undercity. Now I could run there, which would take a good 25 minutes. Or I could fly there, which would cost me a silver. Or 50 copper. But I had to start saving my money for the sake of getting a mount. So I'm like, nah. Nah. I'm just not gonna go back yet. So I stayed all the way out there until I either cleared up all the levels or had leveled up again. <laughs> wow, they're looking for a tank and two DPS for Ragefire Cavern. People are doing that shit already. How long has this game been out? Not long. Some lunatics, I mean, anybody who remembers the game, like I do, is probably going to jet through it a little bit faster than we did originally. I mean, I'm just screwing around right now, so I'm not leveling. But you get through the game a little bit quicker, there's less getting lost. Like going to Agamon Mills, I know where that is now. Let's see, what is it like in here? Is the shop in here? Nope, they got the nothing back here. This will take us to Orgrimmar. If it'll ever move. Hmm, interesting. Move. Move! <laughs> Had to upgrade my damn... Upgrade my damn imp. Blood pack, though, was useful. Useful. Is that something that imps can still do? I'm not quite clear, and I don't use an imp a lot. I remember it being useful in parties, because blood pack went on everybody, increasing all of their stamina in your party, not just you. I also wonder how much of this game is original code. I know a lot of the game must have been torn apart, ripped out, and replaced. As far as, like, the renderer and all that kind of stuff, as well as texture details, sound files, character models, and all that kind of stuff was changed. But, like, there was the, the rendering code, and there was the net code, and all that kind of stuff in the original game. And it slowly got torn out, being improved, and all that kind of shit. So I wonder how much of this is that original code for the game. Oh, look at that. Start us out over the ocean, so don't hop off the side. This starts out, unfortunately, far out <laughs> in the distance. I'm thinking this is just, as far as under the hood goes, this is the modern WoW, but with just a sort of painting on the surface of the classic WoW. The old quest, the old locations, the old models, the old... I could probably survive this, right? <coughs> yep. All the old stuff just sitting on the new code engine. Although I did hear that they redid some, put some of the old stuff back in, like the queuing for actions and all that kind of stuff. I don't have any soul shards. I guess that doesn't, that doesn't uh, happen yet. There's nobody out there somewhere. Oh my god, the gold spammers. Hmm. Here we go. Oh man, look at that. Wow. This looks 
so different. I mean, the, the wall looked different, but I'm not even sure I can find my way around in this place. Thrall. We gotta find Thrall. He's in here, right? No, he's not in here. He's in the... Why is there a Zeppelin up there? I have to go outside to get on the Zeppelins. Where the hell... Oh, this one leads to Thunder Bluff. Thunder Bluff, I don't think, changed, really. Thrall in the Valley of Honor. This place feels so empty. It used to be Orgrimmar was like the hub of Horde activity. And of course, once the expansions came out in like Shatrath or... or um, Dalaran became the hub of player activity, but they sort of brought it back with Cataclysm. Urgrimmar stayed as a kind of central place for Horde characters to gather. It's going to take forever to get out of here. Maybe that's why no one's here. <laughs> Is he in that, or is he in that? I think he's in the bigger one. I think it changed with Cataclysm, where they put him in the front. Because, I mean, you wanted to make it difficult for attacking players to reach the faction leader, you know? He didn't want him to be able to just charge right into the front door and kick the shit out of him. He had to make him fight, make them fight through people to get there. Of course, when Cataclysm came out and flying became a thing on the regular areas, the vanilla areas, you can just fly in here regardless of where he is. So they moved them to an easier location for the actual horde players to reach him. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is the... This isn't where Thrall is. Shit, this is the... It's the Coliseum. They're still looking for that group for RFC. Alright, so he's got to be in there. I was, I was thinking that before. How devoid of life this is. I mean, even there's an even lack of NPCs. It's a little depressing. Granted, it is 3 a.m. Well, 6 a.m. local time. Lokta. Oh, he's not here Lord either. And thunder. What you want? Lokta. What you want? What is it? Relax. How you do it? And honor. So where the hell's Thrall? God damn it. I'm looking like an idiot here. Maybe he's in this other building here that I ignored. Or the Valley of Wisdom. That's a big building, huh? There's the entrance for the Cleft of Shadow. It looks a little bigger than I remember from the, the modern game. I'm pretty sure nothing really changed down there. So I'm not going to bother running down that area. Alright, this is where I'm gonna assume Thrall is. I'm, uh... Really not sure. 
if that hasn't become obvious. What be on your mind? Spirits. Loktar. Loktar. Blood and thunder. Grimash hold. Yeah, that's it. Sure, why not? You look different as hell. You look rather fairly generic, orky. Although you do have the, the big hammer. He doesn't look like the, the appearance that they gave him in Cataclysm, which he retained through... I guess he retains that appearance today, although they... I guess they did update his model. model. Loktar, friend! What is it you wish? You could make an argument that you could make an argument that the horde was attempting to make up for the wrongs that they had done in the past. Because in the first two Warcraft games, it was pretty clear that the horde were played primarily as the antagonist, antagonist of the game. They weren't in any way the good guys. They were the, just the invaders. Then, hey, Riddles, how you doing? The, um... Is there any other quests to get in this area? What would you ask of death? Farewell. And you are... Stiletto knife. <laughs> it is an upgrade, though. I just can't afford it. Farewell. When they made it to Warcraft 3, they they changed the horde around, or the orcs specifically around, to being sort of the victims of the Burning Legion. That that brings up a kind of a different different thing about the storytelling that I don't really care too much about, too much care for in World of Warcraft. None of these gravestones have any bounding boxes to them. Is that the way it is in the modern game? I should check. 